when we were last here from uh, our last class in innovation, we had our character Abby all set to go in her story. Let's see how our story works. Hit the green flag. We can go to the left or right. So let's try going to the right this time because we did to the left and it worked well. She goes to her cave. That looks scary. Go to the cave or go to the left. Well, let's try to the left because we know it should go back to the previous code that we had done. And she walks down the wooden path. Oh, and she sees the castle, which is what we expected her to do. So I'm going to hit green flag so we can start this again. And we're going to have her go back to the right again. Heads towards a dark cave. That looks very scary. Go to the cave or go to the left. So we're going to go to the cave. She has her time travel effect. Flying all around the screen and boom, she traveled back in time. Oh, I think I got something off a little bit there. If I look at her, it looks like I had her say you traveled in time to the past for two seconds and then I moved her. I think I want to say that last. I want that the last to be the last thing that happens. So that way I don't have a delay in the screen. It looked like she jumped. But I, other than that, it looks like pretty good. It looks like my guide showed up in order to give her all of her instructions. So that is a great story so far meets the guide. Here is the challenge. You are now going to try to continue the story either Continuing the story from standing in front of the castle or going deeper into the woods or meeting the guide. Feel free to end any one of these storylines at any point in time. Maybe she goes deeper into the woods and she gets lost forever. End of story. That would be the last thing that's said in that storyline. And you'd have to have person press the green flag to start again. Be sure to draw out your plan. Don't try coding it without having your plan. Now it's okay to start with your plan and then add to it later like we did and add more and more things as you go deeper into your program. You don't have to get everything planned out at once. You could start get a plan to start and then start coding some of it as you go. So that is really all I have for you today. I look excited to see what you come up with with your plan and your program. See you next time. Have fun programming your game.